Hey guys, Petey Grizz here. Got another vintage Victorinox that I am going to part with from my collection. Due to having uh, multiples of it, there is just no need for me, so I'd like to uh, move it along to somebody else who's interested in it. What I got here is a standard that dates to between 68 and uh, 1971 um, in, in good condition. I have cleaned it up a little bit. It's got a little split in the scales, but nothing to worry about. They're nice and solid, still nice and tight. Like I've got other ones that are like this, where the scales have shrunk. And when they shrunk, shrink, they start to pull off of the uh, bushings. So you can see they rise up like that. But this one doesn't have that problem. The scales are still full size and, and nice and tight. They're up a little bit there, but, but much better than I see on a lot of them. It's got the nickel silver shield, although because I recently polished it, it took some of the uh, patina off. But uh, next to a stainless steel shield, I can find one on my thing for vintage. You can still see the color difference. You know, it's got that almost slightly golden hue to it. Super cool. We've got the cap lifter. Notice on these uh, er older cap lifters, you get that sharpened edge for uh, stripping cable or whatever. You might be able to strip bark off a little branch or something like that. Uh, so that's pretty cool. There's no half stop on this because it's an older one. Got, get to the back tools. Five turn corkscrew. Your modern ones have a four turn corkscrew with fluting. So that is a uh, vintage feature there that you don't see anymore. It's got the reamer without the sewing eye, which uh, lasted up until 1985 when they added the sewing eye. It has the plus pat can opener. Another vintage feature, uh, they were marked like this from 1951 to 1971 when the patent expired, would have expired. This has a clip point blade, another vintage feature. I did have to repair this clip point blade, but I think it looks pretty damn good. Uh, I did have a tiny chip off the tip, so I brought the top down a little bit. Still looks nice and straight. I cleaned it up pretty good. For doing it by hand, I would say that 95% of guys wouldn't even notice if I didn't point it out. But uh, I want you to know everything that I don't, I don't want to uh, have any bad blood. So I want people to know the truth about any knife that I sell, even if that's to my detriment. And then it has this nice... It's got some light scratching to it, but for a vintage knife of this age, it's in pretty good shape, to be honest. Has the four line tag stamp on the front. Nothing special there, but it does have the Victoria Officier Swiss tag stamp with the crossbow, pardon me, on the back that they used from 1957 until 1973. 1973 is also when the clip blade went out of use. So you get some cool vintage features here. Uh, the reason you can date it from 1968 or 1969 to 1971 is because uh, in 1968, 69, they switched from using bales to key rings. Although they did have some key rings on knives before that, but on these full size knives, it would either have no key ring or it would have a bale. So when you see a key ring on a full size knife, you know that it's older than that. And the plus pat stamp ended in 1971 roughly i'm sure some made it in 1972 but it's pretty safe to uh, put this between uh, those years so if you're interested in this hit me up on my email in the description i am asking 50 bucks shipped in the u.s uh i might consider shipping overseas we'll just have to discuss the uh extra cost and all that uh make me an offer I'm open to reasonable offers. Uh, so hit me up if you're interested. Uh, if you don't have a vintage one, this is a relatively inexpensive way to get into a vintage, your first vintage Swiss Army knife. Um, you know, uh, I think for this condition, pretty reasonable price. So hit me up and I will see you in the next one. Degrees out.